The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. I said last week that we are all born with gifts and talents. Now we all have opportunities. But only few are able to work on these graces and gifts to turn them into great and revered names. We therefore need to carefully and intentionally deliberately invest in our names as a unique entity on earth. Now look at Job. He says that whoever Heard me, commended me. It should be a certain man. So how do you invest in your name? To make it great. How do you have a good name? Let me say generally that if you want to have a good name or a great name, you have to make some sacrifices. Like Jesus. You need to go the extra mile. You have to make yourself nothing. You have to draw straight lines of resistance. And you need to discipline your appetite. You have to say no to all on godliness by the help of the Holy Spirit. Now I shall attempt to offer some suggestions as to how you can have a good name and then add whatever you know to it. Yeah, whatever you think will help, but I'll offer some few suggestions. Number one, let love and faithfulness invest your actions. Now, let love and faithfulness invest your your action. Proverbs 3, verse 3 and 4. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Then you win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. You need to work very hard like Jesus. The Bible says he gained favor with God and with men. And if he is the one we are following, then let love and faithfulness never leave you. Then you also gain favor before God. And men. Galatians 6, 7 to 10. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Mama won nadamo. No nyan kupon won sin atriche. If we said the Onipa Guno and Nora Nucha. So you just cannot have a good name. You need to sow something that will yield that kind of great name for you. Verse 9. Verse 9 says this. Verse 9. 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 Verse 
and then you will reap good. Oh, pesa unya dimpa, but more than say ube dia adipa, nwe tu mienya adipa. Or say na mumma yemre papa yemu. Let us not be weary in doing good, for at the proper time you reap a harvest if you do not give up. Na say yampa ba yebeka swaba nibremu. The human being is very, very overbearing. But if you want to be a good man, <laughs> you have to sow good. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Find opportunities and do good. And then that good that you have sown, you will reap it and it will rub on your name. Number two, be humble. See, to be humble is to consider others better than yourself. See, humility is quite a scarce virtue on earth. See, so when people see that you are exhibiting humility, they respect you. Because the lowest common denominator among humans, I always say, is pride. <laughs> See, if you see people walking sanctimoniously with their hands behind them it doesn't mean they are humble you you insult them and see so who say nipa nam no wasa go echi say abofo a me man nyo say we brew won asio we dey tie ba ko nan so na hwe if you like even give him some position we dey bomo dia pedi bre bi fa ne she ho we be hu say i'm him man hwe o be kire o say me me ni him man you modeka who modeka you don't want to bow hwe won ko to all of you will die mo nyina mo be you see a monster coming out of human being when you give him position. Yeah. So I'm not talking about walking and keeping your hands behind you. No, I'm not talking about trying to bow to the offering bowl when you are going to give an offering. Uh, James chapter 4 verse 6. James chapter 4 verse 6. But he gives more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. We are saying that good name purchases favors. Now if God shows favor to the humble, Human beings will show favor to you. Verse 10, James 4, verse 10. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Now, when God lifts you up, human beings will respect you. They will bow to you. They will bow to you. 